The documentation process that this kohanga reo employs is a way of reinforcing children's language in accessible, visible ways for both the children and the whole whānau. One way of documenting is scribbling stuff. Kaioko often note down developments they see in children so they can inform whānau. Photos are a vital part of documentation here. Kaioko routinely photograph children at work and on trips and use these as part of a record. Kaioko caption the photographs and laminate them. These are then available for children and whānau to view. For children this kind of documentation provides opportunities to revisit kaupapa, reinforcing language that is known. The visit to the lake was documented in this way, and the children enjoyed talking about the photographs with fire mere. This final section of the video has overviewed language planning strategies which support the language development of individual children in the kohanga. This video has been about the regeneration of te reo Māori, that of bringing te reo Māori back into the vernacular for young children, their whānau and the community. If the kaikatea stands alone, because its root system does not extend deep into Papatua Nuku, but is shallow rooted, it is not able to withstand the force of strong winds. But because this tree stands in a grove with entwined and interwoven root systems, the trees all support one another and therefore are unable to be tossed about or blown down by force winds. In a like manner, if we take the whānau, so too should be its characteristics. If the whānau is not working together in a supportive fashion, then the divisions within the whānau can become so great that its members flounder. That is to say, no person is an island unto themselves. If the whānau is all on board, working towards a common goal and in sync with each other, then it is difficult for it to be split and undermined. It will have an inner strength, enabling its capacity building and to be a thriving enterprise in today's global village. Correspondingly, we may also use the analogy of the birds that would nest in the kahikate. If there were but few trees, there would be but a few birds. However, living as they do in the grove, we have not just one or two single birds, but gatherings or flocks, and we have not just a lone chime in the wilderness, but chorus. Ete iwi, ete whanau. Let us be forever like the Kaikatea Grove, steadfast and committed. Should we lose our language, then like the Kaikatea standing alone, our time would be at hand and extinction inevitable. Therefore, if we are united in thought and committed to the cause of Māori language, then we must think in this manner, that until our ancestor Tamanui Tera ceases to shine, then, and only then, must we accept that our language will finally expire.